Hello, how are you? These are our new CVC beginners packs. So we've got the CVC letters and sounds and the CVC diagraph sounds. So these have replaced the packs that were on the website before. When you order, these two come together. This is exactly how you will get them when you open up your package. They do come with the free washable markers to use on the white clean pages. Um, they come, oops. So this is the first book. Um, they come with the folder and then you can put the cutouts in the front here. Now, I don't cut out for you, but for the whole pack, you have three pages of cutouts. So I've been a lot nicer this time. You can see as well, you just do cut straight through. So there's no gaps in between where you need to trim the tiles. So you've got the letter tiles. You've got the diagraph tiles here. You then have the ABC animals all the way through A to Z. And then you've got your animals with diagraphs on this one. And then you've got your CVC words. So your consonant, vowel consonant for the first three rows and then your CVC words with diagraphs on the bottom two. So we'll start by cutting these out. All right, I've cut out and bundled all my tiles. So I've got the vowels, which are pink. I've got the consonant letters, I've got the digraphs, and then I've got the CVC without digraphs, so they're the picture tiles. I have the ABC animals, A to Z, and then the animals with digraphs, and the CVC pictures with digraphs. So these two go together, then your letters, and then those two go together. So from here, we are going to split them because digraphs, so these three, the diagraph pictures, the diagraph letters, and the diagraph animals are going to go in this pack. This is what the second pouch is for. So it just makes it so much easier for you to store. And then in this one, you're going to use these. Uh, these letter tiles can be used in both. So let me move everything out the way and we'll get started. All right, I forgot to mention as well, both books come with the plastic sheet. This is used... Um, anywhere within the book it just allows you to make the pages reusable so we put that over the top and then we can write over it you could use finger paint um, and then wipe clean i've just got a damp cloth otherwise baby wipes work perfectly well i just don't have any in the house there you go so that sheet can be used anywhere in the book to make the pages wipe clean i will run through from the beginning so these books are personalized yeah so you can write on the front so we've got at, n, n, it, it, or Annie. Now, obviously, our names aren't going to be CVC and the letters aren't going to be phonetically correct, but that is okay. So, if we wipe that clean, we have got the skills and outcomes. So, what we want you um, as a teacher, educator, parent, homeschooling mum, whatever, uh, what we want you to be confident in teaching your little ones or your clients or students. Yeah. And then we've got, oh, I made them pretty. They've got pretty colours. Um, the instructions. So, each activity has a header at the top. The header at the top matches here, exactly. So as you're going through, I haven't got instructions on the pages. They're all here together in one spot. And then from the very beginning, we've got our ABC animal sounds. So at for ant. Ant starts with the sound at. Bat starts with the sound but. Cat starts with the sound cut. Um, so we're not naming the letters. It's not ABC. It's at, but, cut. Yeah, that's really important. I'm not going to go through all of them, but I will show you the pages as we go. This one, we've still got the cue here. So this is more for you as the educator rather than, we're not expecting your little one to be reading this. The whole point of this book is to work through our letter sounds, then our CVC words, then add on diagraphs, and then using that segmenting and decoding to be able to read. Yeah, so these cues are for you just because on the pictures as well, like um, that could be bat or it could be vampire bat. Um, so just to be clear, the letters that we're working on. So for this one, we would get our letter tiles out. Uh, what have we got here? These are all backwards. There's a bit. So there we go. Um, you can use the letter tiles like I have just then. Or again, sorry, I can't get it off use the plastic sheet and then write on or do a combination of both. If you get the digital, you can just um, laminate these as needed. 
but the bonus of getting the book is that you get these nice new plastic pages. So from there, so we're filling in, we've got the cues, we're filling in the letter sound, then we're doing it again without the cues. So you notice we're really going for repetition here, which is what your little ones need to learn and um, get that into their heads. And then we're doing the picture. So we've got a dog here, D for dog. Dog starts with the sound D. We've got our bat and we've got our cat. Yeah, they're all on top this time. There we go. Then moving on. This one is when I say koala, I hear the sound K. And I did see my K in here. There we go. So this one, we're matching the letter tiles to the pictures on the next one. What starts with the sound f? So I'm going to look, I remember my picture that I've been using already. So again, repetition, I haven't changed uh, the pictures from what we were using back in the first activity. So f for fish, g for gull, at for ant. There we go. Hang on, I don't want these tiles mixed up. So I'll put them there. And then these ones, I love these pages. Um, this one, a little bit of handwriting as well. If your little one is under four, we don't want them holding their pen and paper. So I would use this book as a reference pointing out the pictures. Um, for these ones as well, you can have a rice tray alongside, um, practice it in a tray of sand. So really use those sensory play ideas, yeah? So they don't have to be using a pen. They can use their finger to trace the letter. At for ant, we've got at for ant here. Now on some, the words that we've used, the animals that we've used are CVC words. So we can, once we've gone through the book, come back to this section and do the CVC. I wouldn't worry about that too much when you're going through the first time. Yeah. So you've got one of these for all the different animals. Now there are a couple that I couldn't decide whether I was being consistent with the CVC or not wanting to introduce see these ones. We've got our vowel digraphs. So yes, mole is a CVC word. I would ignore that for now, unless your little one has done um, their vowel digraphs before and you want to come back and practice it. So I left it in there, but go ahead and ignore it if you want to. All right, so all the way through to Z. I love the pictures. I've gone all out with the pictures and this really is a combination of the best of everything that we've done to date. Okay. This one, we're now moving on to, um, once you're confident with your letter sounds, we're moving on to the CVD, CVC words. So we've got bed, picture of the bed, b, e, d. So the first sound I'm hearing when I say bed is b, then e, the last sound is d. Again, you can put your plastic over and let's go red. Right over if you want to. Um, this font is Victorian, so there will be Victorian and New South Wales printed. If you, well, obviously, if you don't do Victorian, then get the New South Wales one. That is the most popular. So for this one, um, you can write on it if you want to, or just use it purely as reference. It is there for reference, but I have given you that option with the font um, to use it for handwriting too. And some kids will learn better having something to write as they sound it out. So her, at. Yeah. Um, otherwise, trace it with your fingers or just point to it as you go. So we've got a, hang on, no, these aren't A to Z. So I've just given you three pages and I've used, yep, those two pages are reversed. I'll fix that before I print it for you. So we've used the at, it, it, oh, and ah, uh, short vowel sounds. Okay. Then we've, oh, that's going to annoy me. I've switched that around. Never mind. It'll be perfect when you get it. Um, so we'll then go to this one. So we're looking at the first sound is missing. So we've got a picture of a hat. The first sound is H. We're going to fill in the H or trace it or draw it. There you go. And then we've got a bag, B, A, G. And do I have a B in here? I do. There we go. B, A, G and so on and so forth, and then do it with your other ones as well. Then we're focusing on the short vowel, so b, e, d. 
So we put the letter in or draw it or trace it with your finger or just acknowledge it, however you choose to do it. Oh, I was going to say for teachers as well, you may not want to get it bound in a book. I will have the option to have the pages printed loose because um, these would be really good as rotation activities. And then the third set is the last sound, b, e, d. The last sound I hear is d. So we put our d in there, which we've got a d or a p or a t pot. There we go. P o t. Uh, was there a g? Nope. Log. Yes, there is at the top here. U. Whoops. U o g. And then we've got all three. So I know this is hat. I'm going to find, there's my t, my last sound. Did I have the h before? There, h. And then my vowel is at. H, at, t. So we've made them interactive as well. Um, they don't have to be written on. There you go. If you write on it, you really only have the use of it once. So they are made to be interactive and reusable. So then we've got the three pages again. Then we move to rhyming words. Yeah. So for this one, uh, you will have nonsense words. So have nonsense word. A vowel won't go in the front there. So I don't need my pink ones. They can go over there. Cab is a word. I might put it there because I know bab is not a word. That's a nonsense word. Tab, zab, nonsense word, completely fine to do your nonsense words. You will come up with swear words and weird words as you go. Just you can deal, um, choose how you deal with that. Pab, cab. Now this is cab and that is cab, but this is a nonsense word. That's not how we spell it. Um, so you get the point of this one. Yeah. So you've got your different endings. And whenever you've got the same vowel and consonant ending, whatever you put in front, they'll all be rhyming words. And then we move to this one. So we've done our letter sounds. We've done our CVC words. So this is where we start to put everything that we've learnt um, into practice. This one, let's, or let's not do fish because it is it has a diagraph. Um, no, I'm meant to be using these ones, that's why. So we're using our CVC words for this one. Let's go map. So, my app, and a m and a put, and there we go, map. So, rhyming words. So this one um, is going to have the same vowel and consonant. So cap, tap, um, bap, cap, tap, gap. So again, you could do nonsense words. I'm choosing to do real words for this one. And then you can wipe clean. So this page is already built in with that wipe clean page because the purpose of this one is to start writing and practicing everything that we've learnt so far. So that's our rhyming words. Then we've got our five, whoops, five pages of our words with our at, et, it, o, and up. So you can use your letter tiles or you can write on them. Um, so we go fun, Where's it? Mm. Now I've only got one of each letter, so there's fun there. I'm going to have to write the n for sun. Uh, sum. Um, um, what's another um word? Oh, it doesn't matter. I'm going to leave it at that because I'm sure you get the point. Yes? So this is practicing making up our CVC words with our different short vowel diagraphs. Sorry, I'm shaking the whole table every time I wipe that. And then we go to our CVC spelling. So this is just a chance to put your CVC word at the top and then practice writing it. Um, is there a CVC word that starts? Not without a diagraph, it doesn't. Let's go something else. Mm, ah, where's my app? Ah. Nap. Nap. 
Ah, come on. Where's my pee? There we go. Sorry. And we're going to try writing it on, whoops, our dotted thirds. So again, just that repetition and that practice, bringing in handwriting as well. And then we have, this one's a game, so you can play with two players. Again, using everything that we have practiced so far. So I'm going to choose, so I'm player one. So I'm going to put the picture there. Now player two, now I'm player two, has to find the letters to spell the word, yeah? There's my D. So red ends in the sound D. The vowel is E. And I have done this backwards, but I presume that's the way your kids will do it too as they find the letters. Red. Where's my R? There. Red. R, E, D spells red. And then we take turns. And this. Sorry in advance for my creative writing. It's pretty well non-existent. It's really hard to do this with only CVC words. So we've got Bob and his sad. Bob the cat was sad as he had to go to the vet. Poor Bob. Bob went in a red van with Kip the dog. So for this, this is then where we've brought everything together. We're now reading and using those CVC words. So we want your little one to be pointing to the words as they go. Um, at the very beginning, they'll be pointing to the letters as they sound them out. B -o -b. So we're sounding out that word, B -o -b, Bob, and then putting it back together and reading it. Yeah. He was sad because he was fat, so he had to run around and not nap. And then they went home and had fun in the sun. Okay, and then you've got a chance to do a better job than me, if need be, um, and write your own story. For this one, you choose three of our CVC words. So it goes sun, fox, and... Hmm. Ham, better not. Six, red, let's go red. And then for this one, we're going to use all three CVC words in our story. So the red fox, so we've used these two already, sat in the sun. So we've actually used four CVC words there. Yeah, and the red fox sat in the sun. So our, oh, let's do a full stop too. Our CVC words, er, et, de, fox, ox, sat, sat, sun, sat, mm. there we go. And is that the last activity? A baby wipe would be much better. Go. Ah, uh, there, yeah, that was the last. Hang on. Yes, that was the last activity. You've got a stack of all the CVC words here. Or not all of them, but as many as I could come up with. I'm sure you could come up with more, in which case, just record them in there. And that is the end. I put a plastic sheet at the back just to protect it because when I had it on the bench, I went and put it in something and that annoyed me. So, there you go. This is book one. I'm going to do book two as a separate video because otherwise this will go forever. I will talk to you soon. Bye.